Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is Magic Nana. I'm playing a little Dishonored. Um, I'm at the last mission, and I'm found a little, I don't know what to call it, a glitch or a secret, not really a secret, but just a little roundabout way to cut off half the map to save you a crap ton of time. So, I guess I don't know how else you want to put it. And, um, yeah, so here, here it is. I'm just going to show you kind of how I got here. I'm at the lighthouse. Access the lighthouse, but I'm going to show you how I got here really quick, nice and fast. Everyone should be mostly dead. All these guys aren't. Um, you get your vision. Like I said, if you guys are brand new to this game, well then, um, you're going to have to just play it a while or look at other YouTube videos. But like I said, I haven't looked at any YouTube tutorials. I just picked this game up. I watched the first mission walkthrough to see if I liked it. And then I played the rest of it by myself. So very first mission, like there's not not the there's like several missions inside of one little thing sometimes. But anyways, so we're here. Um, I've got my full loadout. You've got these superpowers. Um, anyways, so you're here. You climbed up this tower. You're gonna want to make sure you the you stick to the right side of the map and head towards the lighthouse access lighthouse uh, arrow. And clear everyone. Just kill every person, or be stealthy, however you want to do it. But I would suggest killing. You're gonna wanna. You'll come up the stairs. You're gonna wanna watch the guy, because the guy will walk here. Oh, sorry. He'll walk here, walk over here, and then walk back up, up the, up the, up the bridge. And then that's where you're gonna wanna um, blink on here, and then re uh, and the, whatever that's called. Rewind that so it kills everyone. It'll kill like three people on the bridge. And then just run back up over here. Or over here or over here. I It works either way. If you just kind of blink here. And then kill these guys. Like see I already killed one guy. Um, you're going to kind of just want to look. And um, so I'm going to kill it. And then your key will be in this building. And, and on that table right there. That's where... Your key will be, and then you just want to head back to right by these stairs. And I'll pause the video, and I'll kill everyone real quick. See, now I'm here. I killed everyone. Um, as I said, I just did it violently. Killed everyone. Let everyone come to me. Um, you're gonna have some overseers that will like do this little like musical box. I don't even know what it is. Thing on their chest, and it'll disable your powers. I suggest getting explosive bullets before you come here. Upgrade everything. You should have if you save up your money, you spend it wisely. Get these explosive bullets because it takes out them really just one shot. Um, otherwise, you gotta shoot them like five times with that or throw a grenade at them. So just use it, use that solely for them, and you only encounter them like twice on this island. Um, so you really it should be okay. And then um, try to use your bolts and your sleep darts as much as possible. But you don't you get a few sleep darts on the island. But anyways. So I'm here. I got grabbed the key from this guy, the main guy you wanted to kill, a high overseer. Um, and then you want to head back, use your uh, eye, the uh, dark vision to make sure no one's around, or little people are around. Um, loot their bodies if you, but you're basically done. This is your last part. You come over here, this little edge here, and you jump on the. Just look sideways. Look this way. Like go Call of Duty style. And just jump up here. And then blink. On here, you blink down here. Just give me a second. You're gonna come to the very edge of this, as close as you can, without falling off. I suggest even saving here if you don't want to over. Where do Then triangle, and then you can use your lean power, and then blink to that rock over there. Make sure you're up a little bit. See, that rock right there. Just blink, and then see that's a nice little shortcut. And then you're back up to the thing. Now you just run. All the way up to the top of the lighthouse, and bam, you, you just cut off. Otherwise, I'll show you. Otherwise, you'll have to sh go through the entire thing. You have to go go through this ginormous. Because if you jump down, if you jump down, let's see. All right, this is how I originally figured this out. You can also go up through this way if you want. But anyway, so if you jump down. You have to deal with all those guys. Like, look at there's guys here. Guys, ooh, let's see if I, let's see if any of them will stick out. Oh no. 
haven't, I've only been playing this game for nine hours. And, and um, anyways, there's a bunch of guys everywhere, and you'd have to jump. You jump down here. You walk all the way through there. You gotta come all the way through up, up through here to get back here, and then run all the way up the stairs. So you'd have to run through and sneak all, sneak your way all the way around. Or you can just simply go through up there, back up here. You know, it just saves so much time and effort and ammo and health and dying. Um, it just, it's a pretty little, neat little thing I found. Um, like I said, I completely found it all by myself. I'm sure there's other people on YouTube that might have found it. Um, but maybe not. So, I hope, and then you just go up there and do the last mission. I'll do it, I'll do it for you. I'll pause the video because it takes a minute to load. Um, and yep. Okay, so you're out of the elevator. It's right there. I didn't go anywhere. Um, get your. Oops, I gotta re put the blink vision right there. Blink vision. Run up here, stab this guy. And you're gonna get those guys, and then. Oops, sorry. Like I said, I'm trying to hold the camera and play here. So now either you can go all mana on it, and. Oop, wow. Alright, let's just use the quick action. I got my four shot revolver. No messing around. Yeah, I don't even just just die. Push me down the stairs, okay. But um Watch it. You're oh. down. oh no I'm not, you're gonna die. Okay. You're not gonna get up, are you? No? Okay. And then there's another guy? Really? Wow, just slice me with the sword, you think you're cool? Okay. Anyways, then you just kill all those guys. It's not hard. And like I said, I've got eight mana things. And then there's another one up here. And then you just run through his house. There's nothing, no, no, no money in his house, so I looked all over the place if you're looking for money, even though it's the end of the game, so it doesn't matter. Which kind of sucks. But there's health potions in here, and there's a few mana potions. There's 20 coins right here. Listen to that if you want, but I'm not a big campaign person. So, uh, oh, 100 coins, sorry. 100 coins that you can't spend. So now you run up here. Oh, there's a dead maid. Oh, poor maid. Oh, no. Emily, I've got you. So now there's two ways you can approach this. You can either take that out and sneak your way underneath. Or you can run up front here. And you'll do this little video. So then you just get your blink out and you blink to the guy and you hit square and it'll kind of glitch out and you'll like be holding her magically and your arms will jump to her shoulders. Real, real, uh, and then the game's over. Apparently you can't continue on and like just free roam or whatever, I don't know. It's mission based, I was hoping it kind of sucks, but um, yeah, so that's Dishonored, that's the end of it. Spoiler alert! Um, and then, so, uh, then you say it continue, and that's the end. And you go through this little thing. Um, so now I'll just explain, I don't know if anyone's wondering, any, I don't know if I have any, uh, loyal YouTubers anymore. I had a few for a while that were like five years old or whatever, but anyways, I haven't been on because I am... I don't know, it just pauses. Because I am playing different games. I've been playing Saints Row as I uploaded two videos of that. I have been playing this. I'm just kind of sick of Modern Warfare 2. I've been modding that since last October, so a year now. And um, it's just boring. You can't do anything else. I've done all the mods that you can all the actual mods. The only difference is menus. So, like the menu bases and how fancy they look. So I'm just done with that. It's, it's fun to mess around with once in a while, but, um, it, it's boring. And, um, so I'll be playing other stuff, like when Ghost comes out. I don't know if I'll get Ghost just because it requires, apparently it requires 49 gigs of hard drive space. I don't know if that's true or not, that's just uh, what it sounded like, and I probably could look it up since it's actually out now. But, um, that's just what I saw, leaked image of the, I'm like, oh, I don't have, I'm not going to fill my hard drive with 45, 49 gigs just for one game. But uh, anyways, I'll probably play that. 
and some you know other games. Um, so yeah, I'm done. My dad's getting another PS3, so maybe I can get his old one and jailbreak it, and then we'll see. Maybe I'll play around more, do some real time modding if I can. I don't know, but um, I doubt it. And uh, I guess that's about all I got. So hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and the little help. Um, and I guess I'm out. <laughs>